Well, hello again, everybody. Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Fallout 76. As you can see, it is now nighttime. The reason it was daytime at the end of the last episode and nighttime at the beginning of this episode is because I was uh, kind of messing around with my keys a little bit. What I've been trying to figure out how to do is to holster my weapon. Um, I don't know how to do that. I haven't been able to figure to do that. So if you guys know how to holster the weapon, let me know. I would just prefer to walk around without my weapon out. I haven't been able to figure that out. Um, and you can see down there it says you have declined the team invitation. While I was running around doing that, there was some guy over here. There's other people in my game world. And uh, I already don't like that. <laughs> I already don't like it. Uh, it's just, I just want to play the game by myself. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I just kind of like to try to figure it out on my own a little bit before I start joining parties and such. Uh, anyway, uh, welcome back to Fallout 76 Episode 2. Um, I have no ammo, so there's really no reason for me to have this weapon out. So I might as well just put it away, but that makes me get my fists out. So, we've got people here, I don't know what the numbers next to them mean. Maybe that's their level or something, I don't know. Um, but... Uh, not really interested in uh, talking to those dudes. I just want to go ahead and, and uh, play the game. Probably going to find that I really don't have much of a choice in the matter. People are going to follow me around no matter what. Uh, so what we're doing here, our current quest, is... Is he punching me? Go, go away! See, this, is, this is exactly what I was afraid of. I do not... I'm not interested, dude. Go away. Um, our current quest here is to simply find the overseer. So we're going to go ahead and follow the road and uh, see if we can locate the camp. Here comes something flying overhead, a vertibot. That's pretty scary. Um, don't know who's driving that thing, but uh, there you go. I guess we got this guy here following me around now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get on the road here and uh, see if I can't, um, yeah, what's this? Find my way to the Overseer. Here we found uh, Responder Corpse, orders for Maria Chavez, a stem pack, uh, a machete, and some money. So yeah, let's read this. Paul, I need you to make the monthly scouting run to Vault 76. Those doors have to open sometime. Don't take risks. Observe for a few days and come back, Maria. Okay. Oh my god, go away. Just go away. Uh, thank you. Uh, stim pack, I'll take that. I accidentally took a stim pack earlier uh, when I was trying to figure out how to um, holster my weapon. I, I picked up a machete. And since I don't have any... Uh, any bullets, I might as well walk around with this machete out. This, I mean, it's a responder corpse. That looks, this guy looks pretty irradiated, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Let's see if there's any goodies around here. I think over here there were some Still some of those robots that I had to fight, maybe. It's a billboard up there. So yeah, I guess I just walk around with this weapon out all the time now. Blocking part of the screen. I mean, I guess I could go to this mode, but I really prefer to play Fallout in first person mode. That's just my preference. Oh no, more robot thingies. Crap, I'm gonna try to avoid those. I don't really feel like I have the right weapons for them. They have lasers and all I have is this stupid machete. Oh, damn it. Oh, he got me. That was a good shot, robot. I gotta hand it to you. That was a pretty good shot from way far away. Oh man, he's still shooting at me. Um, okay, I am heading south. You can see on my little compass at the bottom center of the screen. So I'm heading south, and there actually is a marker on my map telling me where the, my destination is, so that's good. So I'm just going to try to follow along that way. Uh, there's plants here. This one's called a soot flower. 
Challenge complete. Eat to prevent starvation. Open your pit boy and go to item aid. Food can rot over time. Oh no. So eat while it's good. Huh. Starvation, huh? Uh, well, I mean, you could look in the lower right hand corner down there and uh, see that uh, we've got the little fork and knife, so we're going to have to pay attention to that. And as we just heard, uh, we need to eat stuff before it goes bad. So I could eat this soot flower, 1% disease chance, uh, and it's got some rads in it. Maybe I'll see if I don't find any other food before I go eating irradiated, uh, oh my, irradiated plants. That looks pretty scary down there. Oh, was that a Protectron? Wow, a level 5 Protectron. Well, we'll try to stay away from that. Hear somebody shooting something. It's kind of scary. Rhododendron. Okay, so we added a rhododendron flower. Let's see what that does for us. This. Uh, let's see. Let me inspect the flower. No, it doesn't really tell me anything about it. Food 1%. I don't know what that means. It's 1% food? I don't know. But here's another one. I'm just kind of making a beeline over here. So how does this work? I mean, I'm looking for this person, but there's other people running around in my game. What if they kill that person? Maybe they're invincible. Um, but I'm really concerned about, you know, griefers coming in here, and I'm just trying to play the game and follow the story along, and then I got some jerk who's hit me with a baseball bat or something. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's like a beautiful night. Oh, some kind of flies, fireflies. Well, I'm supposedly hidden, so hopefully they can't see me. Because uh, they're going to attack me. But there was like a, a, a lockbox down here that I'm interested in. Kind of like to get to this lockbox. This may be a big mistake. Uh, okay, cool. Duct tape. An adjustable wrench. Cool. Okay, I'll take those. And I think I avoided the uh, fireflies. Yes, I'm afraid of fire fireflies. What can I say? There is a building here with lights on. And we're supposed to keep going in this direction. I don't know if our destination is on the map or not. That's not the map. Okay, here we go. There's the Overseer's Camp. And I guess these are other people playing. Oh, great. Somebody's right behind me now. So I guess that we can't hurt each other, maybe, I'm hoping. That would certainly be interesting. There goes Armadillo Leprosy. Um, so if we can't hurt each other, then maybe it's okay. But I don't really need to be trying to fight other people. and Because we saw one guy, he was level 18. You know? Oh my, I don't know what's going on up there, but it doesn't sound good. Yeah, he's he's fighting something or somebody. Now, if you, you watched me play uh, Fallout 4, you know that I like to explore. And I will explore, but I don't feel strong enough to explore right now. Uh, by any means, especially with no projectile weapons. Oh, there's that guy again. Uh, so, I'm just trying to get to um, Overseer here. Maybe she can help me out with something. I'm just picking all this stuff up. I'll continue to pick it up, maybe until I run out of space. I wonder if this is... Oh, this is looking like it might be scary here. Alright, please go away. So I thought that there was uh, emotes that I could do. Um, but... Looks like I have uh, remapped my keys. So hold on just a second. 
Okay, there we go. So now I've mapped my keys properly here. Um, so these are... I guess I could tell people stuff. He's hurt. I don't know where he is right now, but I saw he's... His health wasn't the best. Anyway, this uh, looks like a great pinch point for trouble, and I see maybe something glowing underneath of the bridge here, so I'm going to kind of get a look at it. Huh, okay. I'm not sure what this glowing stuff is. It's interesting looking, though. So there's kind of some kind of weird focus blur going on. Like if I'm looking at the edge of the uh, bridge there, the background is a little blurred. And if I look at the background, then it's not blurred. Kind of weird. Here's some glowing fungus. Uh, I bet if I walk in this water, I'll probably get irradiated. But I could be wrong about that. Well, let's see if I can cross this bridge. Okay, well, surprisingly, nothing jumped out at me. Bunch of people running around out here. So there's Armadillo Leprosy and Jag... Sh jag Shot. I've discovered the Overseer's Camp. That's cool. So... Supposed to craft a piece of armor and craft a weapon. Uh, oh, I guess the Overseer isn't going to be here. Huh. Okay. For some reason I was thinking that I was going to run into the Overseer. Yeah, this is all it's telling me. Okay. Now, miscellaneous. Craft a piece of armor, craft a weapon. That's what I'm supposed to do here. Here is where we craft armor. And here is where we craft weapons. And over here is uh, the Overseer's Cache. So let's play this. Overseer's Log, south of Log 76. I, I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but... Mutated animals? Haywire bots? No people so far. I wish. We have to be ready to rebuild in... What I can confirm is... Hostile territory. Fortunately, Vault Tech was prepared. You see this? The cooking station, the stash box, the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you one. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored, ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. Well, that was nice. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. Okay, if she it's seems still oh. standing. The town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me there. This is the overseer. Signing off. Okay, so we could find her further down the road. Let's take some ammo and canned dog food cuz right now we can't be too picky with what we eat. I'm supposed to craft a piece of armor and craft a weapon. Craft Blunt melee weapons, edged melee weapons, pipe guns, or throwing weapons. Well, I don't know, man. I've already got an edged melee weapon, and I've already got a pipe gun. Um, I mean, I could craft a board. Huh. Available recipes. So, I guess since it's kind of like highlighted here, that means I can craft it. Um... Yeah, the only thing that I have enough stuff to craft right now is throwing weapons, so let's just go ahead and craft this. Okay, build. Uh-huh, make it. Make it so. Okay, I crafted a uh, throwing knife, 
Weapon condition degrades as they're used. Well, once I throw it, I'll never see it again. And, um, oh, here's some good stuff in this toolbox here. Repairs are made at the weapons workbench. Switch to the modifications menu with R to make repairs and mods. Okay. Okay, we'll take all that stuff. Plan, metal bed. Learn from recipes and plans to craft new items. Open your pit boy and go to item notes. Okay. Uh, item. And, oh. If you find the same recipe or plan, reading again does nothing, but it can be traded to other players. Okay. Um, notes. Okay. Orders, plan, metal bed. Crafting item unlocked, metal bed. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Now we'll craft a piece of armor over here. Craft. And... Um, it looks like I craft any of this stuff, so let's just start with the chest piece, shall we? Sure, let's craft a leather chest piece. Don't ask me where I got the leather from. Equip armor by opening your pit boy and going to item apparel. Okay. Alright. Oh, there's somebody else. So now I'm gonna go to item apparel. And equip the leather chest piece, which can go over top of my jumpsuit, which is nice. Armor has different values for physical energy and radiation resistance. So you can see now I'm wearing... That's really not must, much of a leather armor piece. Repairs are made to the armor workbench. Switch to the modifications menu with R to make repairs and mods. Okay. Yeah, this is not really what I was expecting. This doesn't look like the picture at all. But it does look like... I should be able to craft a few other things, and we might as well. Let's go ahead and craft a leather left arm. Okay. And... We'll do... Oh, that's it. I guess I don't have enough pieces for anything else. Okay, well, we're going to protect our left arm. Uh, I need to go into my Pip-Boy and equip it. And there you have it. Our shoulder is protected. Thank goodness. I was worried about my left shoulder. Okay. Cooking station. Craft. Now, yeah. here, cooking recipes are unlocked by gathering new plants and meat. You can also learn from recipe books. Doesn't look like I know how to make anything. Yeah, nothing, nothing is craftable. So I'm just a big doofus right now. I don't know how to do anything. I, I don't know what all I was doing all those years in um, in um, of the Vault 76, but I wasn't learning how to cook things, apparently. Transfer. So here's where I can transfer some stuff. Uh, these don't do anything for me. So store that. And then I'm going to store uh, all these flowers I picked up. And, yeah, let's store this stuff because I don't know what to do with it now. Hmm. I mean, apparently this stuff will follow me around. I think so, anyway. I'm hoping that if it's in my stash box, I'll be able to use it for crafting. Oh, there's that game. keep my pipe pistol. I don't need to... Well, maybe I'll carry my money with me. Cloth and rubber. Small glass jar lid. Steel scrap. I don't need to be carrying that around. I don't feel like. Waste oil and wood scraps. Okay. So. Like I said, hopefully if it's in my stash box, I can use it to craft things. Hopefully. That's what I'm hoping. JM style, sitting there cooking, doing a little bit of cooking. All right, well, now if we look at our quest here, the main quest, find the overseer in Flatwoods. Let's see if Flatwoods is on our map. Well, it's right down the road here. So let's go hop on the road and uh, travel on down to Flatwoods. So now if you notice that my weapon is not out now, I don't know how I put it away, but it's away.
Flatwoods, Charleston. Okay. I've been to Charleston many times. Used to have friends who lived near there. But, uh, oddly enough, or maybe not oddly at all, um, I would just go to their house and visit them there. We never, like, went and did anything. <laughs> I don't remember doing anything in Charleston. So I don't know really whether it's a nice town or not. So I don't know if I have to sleep in this game or not. And I find it interesting that my um, food and my, my hunger and thirst ugh, meters are um, missing now from the lower right hand corner. So I don't know why those are gone now. Uh, caution, it says. I'm trying to avoid uh, this dog that I saw up ahead. Ah, oh, hell, I think it saw me. Oh, it did. Wild Mongrel level 3. I think there's more than one. Ow. I'm a, I'm a single my machete. Can I get it? Oh! Is there another one? I got some pretty good range. Okay. I'm taking everything. I don't know what's useful yet. I don't know if those dog bones, those pelvis bones from those dogs were worth anything or not. Where's the other dog I took out? I know I took out three of them. Mm. I'd like to loot them all. But I don't know where the other one went. Boy, they're hard to see, man. Guess this isn't going to help me any. Iron deposit. Mine. Iron ore added. I just mined some iron ore. Pretty awesome. Well, I don't know where that other dog went. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, cool. Well. I survived that encounter. My health isn't too bad. Here's a sign. Welcome to Flatwoods, home of the green monster. Okay. But the green monster was in Fenway Park. Which, oddly enough, was in Fallout 4. So, I wish I could put my weapon away. I know I keep saying that, but... Uh... I want to put my weapon away because... I don't want to seem threatening to somebody who otherwise would be friendly. I don't know if the game takes that kind of thing into account, but uh, yeah. And I don't know if... When I can go in here and unequip my machete, but then I'm just walking around with my fists up and then there's an animal over there. It looks like a fox, doesn't it? Um... How I would put this in uh, one of my slots? I don't know, because I've got I've got these slots here. Space select. C change. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, so I could put my maybe my machete here. Okay, there we go. Whoa! Look at that thing on the corner of the screen. Here, I could put my uh, pipe pistol. Okay, now, you are parched. Drink to avoid negative effects. Well, see, that's what I was talking about. If you would put that on the screen where I could see it, I would know I'm parched. But you took it off the screen. So, let us go into aid. And uh, we'll drink some purified water. Here's a rad stag doe, yo. I'm just going to leave it be. I don't need to be fighting that. Uh, a baseball grenade. Okay. Here's some water. Collect water. Radiation reduces your maximum health. Use rat away to cure it. Whoa, wait a minute. I wasn't drinking it. I was just collecting it. What, I can't even collect water? 
Um... Okay, I don't know where that water went. I guess it's dirty water, huh? Okay. Well, I don't know. I didn't drink any of it. I don't know why I got irradiated. Any mail? Some toothpaste. Oh, yeah, good. Gotta have that fresh breath. Oh, look at this. Oh, an empty duffel bag. And a suitcase with a red plate in it. It's very important that I pick that up. Uh, I was hoping I could break that open. But it doesn't look like I can. Green Country Lodge. Discovered Green Country Lodge. It's pretty cool. Let's see if there's anything in this. Whoop. Oh, look, they're fighting. Whoa, that was quite a backflip there. Oh, he's burrowing underground. Great. Don't come over here. A bottle cap and a screwdriver. Bear-proof trash can. What was that? I think I just picked up some caps, maybe. Ooh, a Nuka-Cola. Delicious. Hmm. So something came up out of the ground over there. I don't remember what it's called from the previous game. Pack of cigarettes. I don't know. Maybe I could trade that. Makeshift battery. I'm not going to carry that. It's heavy. Whoa! A mole rat. Yeah, that's right. Well, luckily they're not... Oh! Luckily they're not doing too much damage to me. You know? I mean, uh, they're not doing a whole lot of damage. Oh, another one? Come on, I'll take you on. I ain't afraid of you. Okay, maybe I am a little bit. So this is all stuff that I... I don't know. I'm gonna pick it up and take it. Until I run out of room. I hear music playing. Not sure where it's coming from. <laughs> I'm just taking all kinds of crap. Anything to read on the board? No. There's not. That is nasty looking. A possum with three heads. Huh. So after all these years... Whoa, 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 whoa. Music is still playing. Oh, hey, how's it going? A diseased rad roach. It's kind of scary. Approach with caution. Turn that off. Gym session notes. 40 pound barbell. Take. I don't think so. Now let's check out this guy's notes. Um. Whoops. Hollow. Gym session notes. Ah. Arm day. Three sets of 12 reps. Let's see. Dumbbell bicep curl. Tricep extensions hmm. and back extensions, yeah. A little pee about the lack of proper equipment. <laughs> no bother, chin up. Only eight more luxury coffins to make quota in backwoods. I mean, flatwoods. So, <laughs> uh, be difficult given the uh, financial situation around here. Just need to remind them of our friends, the Chinese. Uh, I'll be back on the plane to Ipswich within a fortnight. <sighs> Yeah, there will be the bench press today. Yeah, again. Traveling salesman. Okay. No reason to assume that that is the guy that left the note. Oh. Nasty thing. Nasty. Did that thing come back to life? Where's the body of the other one? I guess that was it right there. Anything in these lockers? Dog tags. Cotton yarn. What is making that noise? You hear that? I don't know what that noise is, but I don't like it. I'll tell you that right now. I mean, it's cool noise. It's just scary. 
body floating out there. I think I'm getting a false sense of confidence since I've been so lucky with my battle so far, my combat. I should really just go straight to the Overseer. That's what I'm going to do. We'll come. We'll explore this stuff later, don't you worry. I'm going to go see if we can't meet up with the Overseer. Looks like a, a possum here. You leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. We got a deal? Sounds like we've got a deal. Or not. Oh, discovered Flatwoods. Okay. little town here. I don't know if Flatwoods is a real town in West Virginia or not. Oh my. Look at this. Brahmin. Spoiled meat, Brahmin hide, and uh, fertilizer. Hmm. Take the hide and the fertilizer, but I'm going to leave the spoiled meat. This game already looks different than Fallout 4. Not a whole lot different, but it does look different. Looks good. Screwdriver. And so far I've seen two plants. Is she in the church there? Wait a minute, what's that? Um, hmm. I was trying to bring up, oh, there's a person there. I'm trying to bring up uh, vats to do like a zoom in, but I guess I can't use vats unless I'm facing an enemy. Oh no. Raider corpse, okay, good. Oh, who's this? Dasa Ben Ami. That guy again. Gosh, he's level four now. When I saw him last, he was level two. Hmm. Well, let's listen to this. We call it the Great War now. It's not been long, and things have been rough. Welcome to Survivor Stories. I'm Dasa Ben Ami, a responder. I've been working with the responders for a couple years now. I'm from Charleston originally, so it was easy to join up. What wasn't easy was the work. Rebuilding Appalachia from the rubble while survivors flocked to us regularly from all over. So many have come and gone. Their stories untold. Their names lost to time. I thought we should preserve this history somehow. I've decided to ask people to record their thoughts, their stories, anything they want to preserve forever. I'll call this series the Survivor Stories. I'll start with me. I was an anthropology PhD student at Vault Tech University. Final year. I was printing my thesis when I heard the sirens. I thought for sure my father, a Vault Tech employee, could take us all with him. But uh, only two reservations came through. I refused to go. With my little brother, he went to the vault. They could not persuade me, though they tried. In the end, I pushed them inside it, and that was it. After that, I, I went back home to Charleston and, well, survived. Eventually, the responders formed, and I, I signed up right away. It was so hard. The flood was devastating. Relocating to Morgantown Airport and now Flatwoods has been... I, I remain optimistic. Been with them now for, uh, oh, I guess two years. We have big plans. We can do so much to help. Maybe, just maybe, we can rebuild enough to be okay. And in the meantime, I will continue to record stories of survivors when I can. We are your history. 
This is Dasa Ben on me, signing off for now. Okay. Well, looks like she maybe had come here to get help, to get treatment for whatever was wrong with her. But uh, here's where she passed. Pre-war money, gotta have that. With smarts and a little luck, you'll do just fine out there. Okay, thanks level 14 volunteer bot. Oh no, is she dead? Oh. Uh, Pre-war money. Battered clipboard, oh my favorite thing. Patient chart, buzz. Patient name, Buzz Yates. Complaint, patient admitted at 9 p.m. Complaining of upset stomach. Drank several containers of dirty water. Claims he likes the earthy taste. Symptoms. Patient experiencing extreme bowel discomfort, weakness, confusion, barely alive. Treatment. Patient died before receiving treatment. Notes. Patient was too weak to survive a simple fall from his bed. Drinking so much dirty water reduced his physical strength considerably due to intense radiation damage and disease. While he didn't die of those issues, Simply taking a slight injury caused his demise. Oh my. It's too bad. No, nothing in the doctor's bag. That's too bad. And uh, here's a body over here. Another raider corpse. I wonder who took out these raider corpses. Diagnostic terminal. Analyze. Sure. Why not? Access denied. This terminal is restricted to responders, volunteers, and volunteer trainees. If you would like to join the volunteer program, speak with Dasa Ben and me or register at a self-serve kiosk. Okay. And then eject holotape volunteer training program water. Okay. And then I think I picked up uh, the holotape volunteer training program water. This is my first interview with another survivor, Kesha McDermott. She found me trying to break into a Nuka-Cola machine and um, showed me a different way. So, Kesha, can you tell us a bit about how we can make sure our water is safe for drinking? We'll try to keep it to the basics for training purposes. Oh, it's not complicated, really. Find water and strain out any big particles and chunks. Chunks. Then, boil it in a pot over an open fire for a minute or two, then let it cool. Should be fine. Like, <laughs> like making tea, right? <laughs> uh-huh. You joined the responders a while ago and helped develop a program to train volunteers. So, uh, were you a survivalist prior to all of this? <laughs> you could say that. I taught high school kids. I used to talk about this very thing to them. Practical application of the sciences. It's fascinating, but you never realize how important some things will be down the road, do you? I guess not. So if we were students of yours, what would you tell us about the world now? How can we survive? That's a good question, Dasa. Well, I would tell you all to remain calm and focus on surviving. The first thing you need to do is get yourself some clean drinking water. It's likely all you'll find is dirty water, but that's okay. We can fix it. Dirty water carries a small chance of disease and it's a bit radioactive. You'll probably survive if you drink it, but you shouldn't take that risk. It's better than toxic water or nuclear waste, though, which are both very harmful and should be boiled thoroughly first. Got that, Dutha? Yes, um. Contaminated water should be boiled. Okay, that sounds easy enough. So, boiled water is safe? It's mostly safe, but still a bit radioactive. What you really want is purified water. Oh, purified water. Okay, how do I get that? You can build machines that will do it for you, and that's the most reliable way. Building them requires some space and time and plenty of materials. But one 
my way up here from Watoga. I found purified water occasionally in supply caches and medical kits. <laughs> so, keep your eyes peeled. If I boil water, and that's mostly safe, aside from a teensy bit of radiation, what about tea? Most folks around here are tea drinkers, as you know. I recall many a night sipping tea on the stoop, watching lightning bugs, and reading a book in peace and quiet. Tell me that's still okay, Kesha? Oh, bless your heart. It's probably as good as boiled water anyway. Maybe even better if you add anything medicinal to it. Some survivors add all sorts of flowers and herbs to boiled water, and they swear by it. Personally, I stick with purified water. And to each their own. Hmm, okay, got it. Uh, switching tracks a bit. I know you're awfully busy with your latest research in Flatwoods. Can you explain that a bit? <laughs> of course! I'm testing local, natural water over time in Appalachia. Gathering data, monitoring the radiation and contamination levels, and all of that. I analyze the data in my lab to look for long-term trends, and use those trends to determine how we can use the water right now. We use the water for more than just drinking, you know. It feeds our plants, which feed our animals, so we need to know how things are changing. You got a lot of work cut out for you. I'm glad you joined the responders. That data sounds invaluable. <laughs> it is! I've integrated the data collection and research into the responders survivors volunteer program as well. I am still a teacher, after all. Wow. Then there you have it, folks. Thanks for talking with us today, Kesha. And thanks for showing us all how to live a little safer. <laughs> Class dismissed! Holy cow, I almost died of dehydration listening to that. People sure do talk slow. Good grief. I get it, boil water. I get it. Uh, well, speaking of water... Guess we better uh, help ourselves to some, since we're pretty doggone thirsty. Purified water, purified water. Okay. Yeah, that was. Whew, that was uh. That overseer long. lady said more people would be coming. It's nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. While you're here, why not grab a stem bag or two? Where are they? It sure is great to see living human beings again. I don't know where the stem packs are. Here's a chemistry station. I can make uh, boiled water. Ammo, energy, ammo, healing, and smelting. So I can make some boiled water. And uh, apparently it requires wood and dirty water. Challenge complete, boil water. Now these challenges, I don't know where they're listed. They just kind of kind of pop up here. I mean, like, I didn't even realize that that was a challenge. Um. Yeah, there's nothing here about challenges. Well, um. Oh, here we go. Some psycho buff. Chems give you powerful buffs. They are temporary. And you can only have one chem active at a time. Hairbrush. Cap and a two ball. Printer activate. Water safety report. Read. Mm, wow, this is from way back in 96. Uh, volunteer candidate results. Germ profile high. Yep. Radiation levels extreme. Particulate granules pebble. Acidity unsafe, pharmaceuticals high. Conclusion, water is unsafe for drinking unless boiled thoroughly. Okay, I get it. This game really wants to drill it into your head that you can uh, boil water, huh? Um, okay, let's look at the responders database. Log in. Select account, guest. Welcome, guest. Flatwoods responder services are currently offline. Please use the volunteer bot if you need assistance. Accessing database access denied. Print newsletter. 
Sure, let's print the newsletter. Requests. When responders return to Flatwood soon, we will process your requests. Stay nearby and use the provided emergency supplies and robots. So here we go. New patient. Metals. Transcript from the Volunteer Pot's records. Everything hurts. Literally everything. I don't even know what happened. I tuned into the radio station and heard about this place, but nobody here knows where y'all went off to. Chris. Patient Balthazar? I was running and broke all my toes, and my nose won't stop running on top of everything. I was getting attacked by some horribly messed up person, and then I started feeling sick. I think he died? His skin was on fire. I kept running. That's when I broke my toes. I'm just gonna lie down a bit. I just feel bad. He broke his toes, that sounds painful. Comment from Metals. Yeah, that guy who signed in yesterday with the sniffles and broken toes just died, I guess. He turned to me and said, maybe I ate something bad, and that was it. I'll bury him in the back. This ain't my job, you know. You're welcome. Uh, new patient, Cullen. Holy cow. I figured I could get some training here from professionals, survival type training. I'm going to work in the on the volunteer responder program. I heard if you get access, you get a bunch of rations and rugged survival equipment. So I'm going to do that. Mike. I used to be a member of a bunker to the east. We had plenty of food and water, or so I thought. People got nervous. There was a fight. Anyway, I left. But I don't have any supplies. Heard about this place on the radio, so here I am. Just here to trade, really. Colin. That guy who just signed in took some supplies and left some other supplies in trade. Took most of the water and food, though. He said he was going to some asylum somewhere and would need it more. But he left us with some armor, so that was good. Dr. Venn. I have been eating nothing but Blamco mac and cheese, sugar bombs, and Insta mash with Nuka Colas for years, even before the bombs. But lately it seems to give me the shakes. I'm a doctor though, a doctor of philosophy, not medicine. So I came here to see if anyone could tell me if there's something I can take for the stomach aches and shakes. Comment from Dr. Ben. Sending in some feedback on the robot. It's out of all of its supplies. I've been grabbing supplies from the nearby houses in town, so there's enough for most of us. But the robots need to be refilled. Brad. Constant headaches. I was trying to survive up near that old Voltec vault. Had a nice shack by a pond, even made my own liquor. Things were fine, but then I got attacked by a bunch of giant bugs, and now my head is killing me. Just where is everyone, anyway? Dr. Venn. It seems like the responders should have communicated with this outpost by now. Colin is now a volunteer responder and he found some resources using the database. He found info in the database that showed us where the responders are now. We're going to go find them now. Okay. And that's all. So that was way back in 96. 20 years or so after we entered the vault. Uh, this printed something out. Um, okay, well, what it printed out, I don't know, unless it printed out this water safety report. Gully Mine Recon. Jeff, I hope things in Flatwoods are going well. I had a thought I wanted to share. If we can spare the personnel, I'd like to send a team into Gully Mine. They were blasting in the days before the war, and if there's still dynamite in there, it might come in handy. I know you're busy with a volunteer program, so it's your call, Maria. Okay, well, here's the Overseer's cache, and let's play her log. Overseer's log, town of Flatwoods. My god, there's no one here. The old tavern, the church, people were using them for shelter, but they're gone. Mutations we expected, but there's something else. A disease. I was attacked by... Well, it used to be a person, but it had these green, glowing lesions, and its voice. Angry, tortured. We are one. One what? Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. 
and we expected a lot. Before they were wiped out, the survivors called themselves the Responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. I know it's even worse than we imagined, but... Someone's got to know where the missile silos are, and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. This is the Overseer, signing off. Yep. Okay, so... Oh, memo here. Let's check this out. Responders, the database is now locked. Only volunteers and responders may access it until things calm down again. This is only a precaution until this whole thing blows over and we get back to rebuilding this great country. I just updated it with more information about supplies, so when we get back, we can start distributing resources to the survivors that remain. Delbert and Kesha have volunteered to stay behind and take care of the survivors. Dasa. Hmm. Well, unfortunately... We can't get into this thing. Not even into the guest accounts, so... Uh, and it said print newsletter. Uh, if it printed the newsletter, I don't know where it is. Can't seem to um, read it. Which kind of sucks. So, yeah. Uh, plan vault tech cardboard standees. Oh, goody. Want that water pump plan, and then some other stuff. Thanks, overseer. So we go here to item. Uh, notes, and this is how we learn things. Item crafting item unlocked. Vault tech cardboard standees, and crafting item unlocked. Water pump. Okay, great. Well, now what are we supposed to be doing? Go here to data. Main. Uh, the overseer recommended that I become a volunteer for the responders to get some basic training. They may be gone, but they did know how to live for a while. I should see what I can discover in their old systems. Register as a volunteer. Hmm, how do I do that? It's pointing me in that direction. So I guess that's where I'll go. Again, I'm just pretty much just following the story. I will do some exploring at some point. Okay, whatever I'm looking for is in here. Trading post, survival supplies and assistance. Oh, look at this. Dirty water. Well, better than nothing, I guess. Volunteers needed. Oh my. Responder corpse. Hmm. Okay, I guess the game is trying to decide what's on this corpse's body. Nothing, I guess. Okay. Well, I guess I'll take nothing and like it. Uh, a Raider. 308 rounds and a pipe bolt action pistol plus. Responder corpse. Not sure what that sound is I hear. Oh, it's a cow walking around out there. Self-serve registration kiosk. Welcome to Robco Industries. Responders Survivor Volunteer Program. Welcome, Survivor. This program was developed to turn regular survivals, survivals, survivors, into certified responder volunteers. As a volunteer, your job is to help others, and your job as responders is to help everybody, including you. Register here. Welcome, volunteers. Transferring course to your external hardware. Done. Report to responder Kesha McDermott for further instructions. Is she still alive? People directory. Uh, message of the day. Survivors' guilt meetings are held every night in the funeral home. All right. Okay, here's the listing of local responder and volunteer listing listings. Uh... So this is, um, Dessa, no, not 
who's this now? This is uh, yeah, Dasa, Dasa Benami, whose body we just saw in there. She's a responder. Her assignment was lead of Flatwoods responders outposts. Outpost? <laughs> Outposts. Uh, specialty leadership. Last checked in. Not since 96, man. Last location, Flat Flatwoods Church. Housing assignment, 8 Church Road. Notes. Leads Flatwoods outposts for the responders. Documenting the responders' good deeds. Okay. Miguel Caldera. He is an engineer. His specialty is survival training, robotics, and programming. Uh, last location, Morgantown Airport. 17 Bridge Street notes installed new self-serve kiosks and automated pantry transferred to Morgantown Airport to build shelters for survivors. Colonel. Responder, caretaker, caregiver for children. Last location unknown. Joined the responders when he was 13, dedicated to helping kids learn to survive. Kesha McDermott. Uh, she's a researcher, hydrology and education. Flatwoods River. Um, search for Kesha along the nearby river. It's telling me up here. Notes, monitoring water safety protocols in Flatwoods, conducting ongoing hydrology experiments. Colin McLeader, trying to contact the responders. Morgantown Airport, trying to contact the responders. Anybody really, can anyone see this? Scott Shepard, knowledge of the big picture. He was a nurse. Last location, Green Country Motel. Note, studying the reasons why. Has theories on many topics, mostly political or paranormal. Gary Wilkins. Courier navigation. Transferred to Morgantown Airport. Delbert Winters. Cooking, preaching morale. Last location, Delbert's home. Runs the Flatwoods kitchens and potluck. Trains survivors in food safety. Finally, Sophie Yates. Undeclared. Uh, she's also at Delbert's home. Student in Delbert's volunteer training class since 12096. Whoops, sorry. Delbert is at 21 Bridge Street. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. Quest completed. First contact. Item reward, responders paramedic jumpsuit, recipe, healing salve, and a bunch of other stuff that I couldn't read. Quest started first things first. Become a volunteer responder by completing basic training courses. Okay. Uh, Thirst things first is the name of that quest up there. So, we look at our main quests. We've got this one called Thirst Things First. According to the administrative terminal in Flatwoods Outpost, responder Kesha McDermott was on assignment testing water down by the river. I pulled her coordinates so I might be able to find the water testing kit nearby. Well, I could have swore I saw other quests too, but I guess not. Well, it's time for me to end this episode. Uh, off to a somewhat slow start. Lots of reading and lots of listening to recordings, but that's okay. We got to flesh out the world somehow, right? We come back next time. Uh, we will go down and see if we can't find Kesha near the river. And, um, I kind of completed first contact. I thought there was also one where we we're supposed to, uh, do some chores or something, but I don't see those on here. Oh, well, we'll figure it out as we go along. Thanks again for joining me on this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me know by leaving me a like or a comment. If you're not a subscriber, why don't you please consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure do hope that you will join me again in the next episode.